and welcome back to some more Pokemon X! No healing in battle, revenge, rainbow, wedlock. Holy crap, I'm getting dizzy. Look at this. You can literally do this forever. And what's Sandra gonna do about it? She gonna fall down? <laughs> in the last episode, we made our way here to Lumios after, you know, clearing out all of the trainers, of course, on the route prior. But First, we came here by avoiding everybody so we could hatch our three mystery eggs for this series upon reaching Lumios for the first time. And those two, well, two of the three, were added to the team and we formed the original six once and for all. And the hatches we got are some of the most unbelievable and insane hatches that I have ever had on a team. Like, not just hatches, but like Pokemon in general. I got a pair of an Ammonite and a Cherubi. In the Kalanoa tribe, we got Kalo Kalo and Aganawa, and I am so excited because anybody that doesn't know me and hasn't been watching me for a long time, there's two Pokemon in the history of my channel that I've really, 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 really wanted to use. Ammonite and Cherubi. And they're on the same pair! I, it literally looks rigged, like it's so rigged looking that like, I wouldn't even rig that because people would think it would. Like, that's how unreal it is, and it's, like, the most exciting thing ever. Mystery eggs are a fun addition, and they're fun because they are actually, you know, a mystery. I don't know what I'm going to get. I randomize all the eggs together. I know what's in the 20 eggs. You guys don't, but I do, and I shook them all up. So, me not knowing what I'm going to get is the entire fun of the, the whole twist. So, there's no reason that I would pick what I want out of them. If that was the case, then I would have just told you guys, hey, I'm gonna have 20 eggs and I'm gonna pick which ones I want. What's the point? And not that anybody said anything, but it's actually pretty insane. And I'm so excited for Aganawa and Kalo Kalo. It's awesome. Kalo Kalo does have the, um, you know, ability weak armor. Not the best, but hopefully it's fine. And on top of those two, we also hatched Empu, the clink, which is awesome. So those are three eggs. We'll get to hatch two more in Camphrey Air Town, which is not too far from now. We should be reaching there this episode, but those eggs will probably be hatched in the next episode. I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. We'll find out. And then we also got our encounter back on Route 3, which was a Dunsparce Fay Long. But unfortunately, I turned off my computer after I caught it on accident while trying to plug in my DS. And... I lost half that recording, but finding Dunsparce was in the recording, and then we caught her. Serene Grace, gentle, Fei Long, which is awesome, and, you know, because she's long, eh. And it, it's based on a Chinese dragon, I never actually did end up saying that after I had ended up cutting that recording, but, uh, Dunsparce kind of looks like a Chinese dragon, you know, a little one, <laughs> and she's long, so there you go. She's like five feet tall, or five feet long, so. and then we got Badu. <laughs> right, and we got a buddy uh, named Ara. So we got a whole bunch of females. No males yet, but we will probably be adding some males to the PC very soon. But we don't need any right now. That's the thing. The team, we got the original six form. We're pretty strong. The fur fruit couple does lie ahead, but it's a pretty strong team so far. So I'm hoping we can take these guys to the distance. I am worried about the fur fruit couple. Not too much to do against them? I guess, yeah, no, I'm not risking Aganawa. There's no way. <laughs> like, nah, 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 nah. We'll figure it out, okay? I'll probably put the fire duo on them. Pretty scary, but, like, if somebody had to go, you know, that would be the most ideal, and every pair besides Aganawa and Kalo Kalu uh, have a pretty even chance. Like, Quilladin and Glamiao and Litlyho and Pansier, I'd say they're pretty even. I mean, Muramu with Rollout would be great, and Tiva with Fake. I don't know, we'll figure it out! That's the next episode, probably, so... Yeah, before we start, I did buy the TM for Bulldoze last episode, but I didn't teach it to anybody. Two Pokemon can learn it. We got Vakama here, which Bulldoze wouldn't be good in a double battle, obviously, because it would kill Mad Singh, but... Uh, Bulldoze is just a really good move. I would like to have it over... That's tough. Headbutt's great, because it can flinch. But Return is like, that's a tough one, actually. I'm going to get rid of Return for now, just because I don't think we need that extra power and the flinching is really useful. And Return probably isn't even maxed at this point. It might be. We did a lot of training, but I don't think it is. And we don't need that extra power. Flinching is good. And I can always reteach Return 
Um, Bulldoze on Maramu would just go over Return as well for coverage. Yeah, for now. I can always reteach Return as the thing. I don't want to get rid of anything that I can't just slap back on whenever I feel like it. And everybody has Return. Well, they did, besides Aganawa. I don't know why I never touched Aganawa. She has Tackle, and certainly it's better than Tackle at this point. You would like to think so. Yeah, goodbye, Tackle. I know Tackle's 50 power in this game, and no chance to miss, but... And I can't reteach it. You know what? Use my words against me. Does it make you feel good? It should, because I did kind of just get rid of text. Doesn't matter. She gets Magical Leaf really soon. Oh, well, close to soon. I've talked quite a bit. Who's fighting Sycamore? <laughs> um, that's tough. Aganau and Kalo Kalo would be great, because, like, we could, you know, fight Bulbasaur with... Actually, that's, that's actually a bad idea. <laughs> um... Yeah, these two are weak to Squirtle, so I guess it's going to be our little diva named Tiva and our chest been named Maramu. What do you guys say? Let's jump right into this and make our way to the lab because that's what we're supposed to do. There's, this city's so big and it's stressful because I don't know if I'm missing things. So I don't feel like exploring it on camera because there's no trainers. Um, there is the cafe for training, but that doesn't count as fighting everybody because it's like something you can just rematch infinitely. So, if I miss any important items, you gotta tell me down below in the comment section. This, I promise this isn't a ploy to get you to comment. It, it genuinely, if I miss anything, tell me, because I probably will not know. And it could be, like, the TM for Psycho Shift, or, you know, something in the game chain. I was trying to think of a really crazy move. There's a certain move that I always say, but I can't think of it. And... Psycho Shift came to mind? What's that crazy move that, like, la the laddies learn? <laughs> I have no idea. Whatever. There's the luxury balls. That's nice. I can catch my next encounter with a luxury ball. It makes them friendly. Maybe. I, don't, I can't think any happiness evolutions. See, I don't want to talk to everybody. It's a waste of time. Except, you know, the luxury balls and whatever this guy gives me. He gives you the Poke Radar, but at the end of the game... Maybe we should do a Poke Radar X and Y Fate Lock. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are like, what? <laughs> uh, I did a Platinum Poke Radar Fate Lock. A Fate Lock's a challenge that I made. I had a lot of fun with it. So it's really enjoyable. Like I'd say it's like the like one of the best Nuzlocke variants that isn't the Wedlock because it's actually like really well thought out and doesn't have it. It's nothing like ridiculous. It's just like a variation to the Nuzlocke and the the wedlock, I'd say. I had a lot of fun with it. A lot of you guys seem to really like it as well, and I probably will do it in the future. Some of you guys have been asking for it, but obviously a lot of you just want to see wedlocks and didn't even give the fate lock a try. It does break my heart, but the Poke Radar was an aspect of it where we used the Poke Radar in Platinum early so you could get a whole bunch of cool encounters, and I'd say it was worth it. i say it made an impact. You'd have to check it out for yourself. Anyways, welcome to, oh, yeah, the lab. This is Professor Sycamore. We have to fight the Kanto starters. Also, I didn't even think about what Kanto starter I'm going to pick. I know which one I can't pick, and I know which one everybody doesn't want me to pick, so I probably should pick that one. <laughs> yeah, Grace is my mother. Just let me... Oh, not the guys. Not the kids. <laughs> Alright, we'll have a Pokemon battle. We're going to fight Sycamore. Let's look at his Sigilyph. Lilligan, Siwaddle, Rock and Rolla, Sigilyph. Unova confirmed? Can you sit in his chair? You can't. There's a goth that's out. He likes Unova Pokemon. Dude, they're literally all Unova Pokemon. There's Siwaddle, Rog and Rolla, Sigilyph, Patil. Patilil. Gothitelle. I can't see what that one is. Is that a Spupa? It might be a Spupa. I can't tell. Yeah, let's just fight Sycamore. <laughs> um, yeah, let's start the battle. No. He leads with Bulbasaur. Okay. So, I don't want to fight. Yeah, all right, we'll fight with Tiva. See, my thinking was I want Tiva to be there for Charmander. You know, because Maramu can't fight Charmander, but... Watch me lose a Pokemon to Sycamore. <laughs> I will cry. You can't lose a Pokemon to Sycamore. I believe all of his Pokemon are only level 10, so it's not that big of a deal. But 
Maybe I'm not high enough of a level. Like, maybe I was supposed to train to, like, 15. I don't remember a lot of X and Y. They're only level 10. It's fine. We have hypnosis? I forgot about that. That's really good. Wow, Diva gets hypnosis at this point. I was going to say, if that was not a critical hit fake out, that's scary. Tiva is really broken. <laughs> Especially with Return. Maybe our little Diva named Tiva can fight the Furfru couple. Hypnosis is so risky, though. Like, I miss Hypnosis. One of them dies. All right, yeah, Squirtle. Marama. And then Tiva fights Charmander. No fear here. I'm going to take a drink of my water. <laughs> not water. <laughs> I realized that pause as I took a drink after I said that didn't sound good. <laughs> it's not water, and then you pause. <laughs> no, no. I don't, you see, kids, the thing is, I've been an advocate since I started the channel. A drink water, right? I always have a water by my side when I record. I've got three of them right here. There, you know, I could have drank that, but I've developed a problem. As of like, I see, I should just get to the point because it's sounding worse and worse as I speak. It's not alcohol. I don't support alcohol. I'm against it. I've talked about that. That's never going to change. But, um, I mean, if you drink it and you're of age, it's fine. But I'm, I'm never going to drink alcohol. Never in my life. I've been 21 for almost three years now. Holy shit. <laughs> um, holy wow. Real, I mean, no, I can't math. Almost two years. I'll be 23 this year. So, yeah, that's two years. That's a year and a half. Listen, I've never been one with the math. Never. Ever. See, my... I must stop. So, yeah, Fake Out does so much damage. My lord. Can you imagine if she had Technician? <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Um, it's coffee. So, my... <laughs> what a segue. My whole life... I've never been a coffee drinker. I don't care for caffeine. I don't care for coffee. I used to always say caffeine never affects me. You know, um, I've learned that's not the case. <laughs> um, they're all, everybody out there is thinking, oh no, the man's found coffee. He's about to get worse. Yeah, my mom feels the same way. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll continue in a moment. Canto starter. The fire type Pokemon Charmander. The grass type Pokemon Bulbasaur, and the water type Pokemon Squirtle. So, Squirtle's not allowed, because I used Squirtle in the original X and Y wedlock that we're getting revenge on. So, our Ikabula, our Blastoise, makes Squirtle ineligible. Bulbasaur is my favorite. I love Bulbasaur. He's been one of my favorites my entire life. And then there's Charmander. I never gave this any thought, actually. I'll be real. We're just going to go ahead and pick. No, I'm just kidding. I'm pick Charmander. I hate Charizard. We're gonna pick Bulbasaur. He's lovely. I love him. He's great. And maybe we'll use. No. I... What? I have to? Vakama, you go to the PC for a moment. Just because you're at the back, it makes it easier on me. We get ourselves a shiny Bulbasaur. You do love to see it. We got to give it a nickname. Um. Sure. Uh, my naming theme for this playthrough is Survivor Tribes. Um. I haven't given this any thought, but just like randomly, Ikabula was on Millennials vs. Gen X. So, should I just give this Bulbasaur a name for Millennials vs. Gen X? I mean, why not, right? I mean, there might be something better, but like it's a reference to Ikabula or Squirtle. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and name this Bulbasaur from... Uh, tribe on season 33 of U.S. Survivor Millennials vs. Gen X. It's the Fijian word for thank you. The other one's the Fijian word for open sea, which just does not fit a Bulbasaur. So, Fijian word for thank you for this starter. And that tribe name I'm giving this Bulbasaur is Vinaka. We have Vinaka, the Bulbasaur. I'll take it. That's fine with me. Shiny Bulbasaur, thank you for it. I do appreciate it. Yes, it will be named Vakama. And we get the Venusaurite, which I'm not allowing Mega Evolution for this series. I almost did, but it can be overpowered. Um, I don't know. I could have used the same rule I used last time. It was fairly balanced. You get to use it once per area. But once you attach the Mega Stone, you can't remove it. So you get like one Mega Evolution per area, which is like the same as in like an encounter area. Like this would be Sycamore's Lab or whatever. So yeah, that would count. But I counted the League as one whole area, but there's technically four different chambers, whatever. Um, it's it's a fairly good rule. I just, 
I don't know, not being able to use any other held items, it was kind of like a detriment. <laughs> it wasn't as helpful as I thought. So, like, I don't think it's as balanced as it could have been. Vanaka, what do we got here? Not a shiny. Neutral nature. Quirky. Capable of taking hits. And it's not his lab. It's Lumio City. So, that's the type of point. Anyways, Vanaka is pretty cool. Sounds like a pair of binoculars. <laughs> Stop it. Um, coffee. <laughs> um, so I never drink coffee. It's not been something that I do, but I'm tired all the time and I'm working on videos all the time. So I was thinking maybe coffee would be a good idea to get into. Probably a bad idea because it's not good for you. Um, but I've been like doing so much more work than I've ever done in my life. And uh, I, you know, it's working for me. I don't recommend it. If you're like a child, you shouldn't be drinking coffee until like you're an adult and you kind of have to to get by. But I'm still sleeping good, but I'm just doing like a lot more like productivity, if you will. And I'm not like drinking coffee coffee. I'm drinking iced coffee. I don't think there's a difference, but like it's in a jug you get at Walmart and you put ice in it. I don't like regular coffee as much. And I don't put all the sugar and stuff in it. I'm sure this is loaded with it, but it's not as bad as like, it probably is. You know what? It's fine though, because I can take it or leave it. <laughs> but yeah, add my personality with caffeine. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Basically, yeah, I just woke up a little bit ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thro hears me screaming in the other room. He's in there barking. I don't know if you can hear him from in there. Probably not. Like, my door's shut, and I edit my audio, so you, like, hit anything under a certain volume. It just gets yeeted out of the recording, basically. But I don't know where I'm going with this. You might have heard him. It doesn't matter. You hear school buses when they... You know, that's another problem with getting up early and recording. Because, like, those wretched kids outside got to go to school. It's like... Mm. How about you going to school? Are you kidding me? Like, no, I, I'm not a hateful old man, even though I am. <laughs> I'm an elder, basically. Like, I'm as old man as they get for a 22-year-old. Like, I kid you not. Um, like, and I'm such a sweet guy, too. Like, I love, like, ki little kids and stuff. But, like, that age, a little kid, where they're, like, know-it-alls, I think we can all agree that they're just... You know, they make the world a worse place. <laughs> but no, um, I sit here. It's like, the, I did the most old man thing I've ever done in my entire life the other day. Um, I live in this apartment complex and I absolutely hate it here. There's four apartments on three floors. So 12 people, 12, 12 families. Yeah, 12, sounds about right. So I hate these people. <laughs> Do I know any of them? No, but I can't stand a soul here. The people above me, every night around 8 p.m., getting it on. Uh, <laughs> why are we saying this? Um, you know, you know, playing Smash. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Oh, yeah, they're getting hardcore. Stop it. They're, they're, they're Smash Ultimate. That's, or maybe they're playing Melee. I don't know. It seems rigorous, so it's probably not Smash 4 or Brawl, but regardless, um, stop it. Uh, there's an old man below me that hits on my mom. <laughs> he got yeeted out of here the other night in an ambulance. I think he's okay, though. It scared me. I was like, no, not Mike. I like Mike. He seems like a nice guy, but there's a whole bunch of ambulances out here, and they had to go carry him out. That was like a really dark turn, but I think he's okay, so it's fine. Um, I hope, anyways. Um, there's an old lady couple across the, across the hall. And that's all I know of. Oh, and there's, like, a woman on the other side of our wall that likes my pugs. Uh, and that's, that's about that. I don't know anybody else in the building. And it's awful because every people, for some forsaken reason absolutely annoying it kills everything inside me people run up and down the halls people run up and down the steps it sounds like a dumpster truck running up and down the hallways every 20 minutes people are running around they run up and down the steps i'm fucking sick of it <laughs> like i can't stand it 
And you might be like, all right, you're just being ridiculous. Well, I got a reason for it. It didn't bother me before, but we had a fire in the building a couple of months ago. And it was like, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and people were screaming fire. And it's like that memory, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really messing with me and really haunting. It's terrifying. Luckily, nothing happened. They got it all under control. But, like, we could have lost everything. And it's, like, really terrifying. Um, and I'll be the first to say, mental health, yeah. I am. It's bothering the hell out of me. And every time I hear somebody run up and down the goddamn hallway, it brings that memory back. And I'm sick of it. So, I did the most old man thing I've ever done in my life. I went to everybody's door and put a sticker on it that said, please stop running in the halls. <laughs> now, you see, I, I'm smart. So I put one of those stickers on every door, including mine and the P. Oh, I still have Vinaka. That could have been awful. Um, I put it on my door and everybody else's door, even the old lady. And I know she's not the one running up down the hall. And you know what if she is? Absolutely. Can we give a hand for her? She's got it. But I don't think it's her, but we still put the sticker on her door because stealth reasons, right? I think it's the people that live above me. I hate them. Like, <laughs> they make too much noise every night. I'm just ranting at this point. But like, they throw parties upstairs. And my mom, I have no sense of smell, but my mom says she smells the weed. And you know what? I don't like it. I'm really against drugs. Like, really. Like, I'm an old man. I'm really against drugs and alcohol. Like, I don't even associate with people that smoke. <laughs> so, no, please don't do that. I didn't even, God. You know what? Give me a minute to decompress. Okay, moral of the story. I don't want to sound like I'm being super hateful or anything. Like, I'm not ranting like in anger. I'm, I'm more so telling the story because I, I think it's probably pretty funny, right? Overall, it's just for humor purposes. I'm not actually, like, sitting here like an old man, super hateful, and wants everybody to, to shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm more so, the fire a couple months ago scared me, and I don't like the people above us because, like, they throw parties up there all the time with people that don't live here, and, like... You know how likely it is that they're throwing druggy parties upstairs and somebody that doesn't live here knocks something over and starts a fire. Like, that's to I think it's unlikely and it's paranoia, sure. But that's not completely out of the question. And people that don't live here should not be here. Like, it's different like if family's visiting, but there should not be a party thrown every weekend in an apartment building with a bunch of other people living here. It's rude and disrespectful, and there's kids in this building. They have to sleep for school. There's an elderly couple with oxygen tanks, and it says no smoking on their door. Like, unreal to me. And they light up the, the reefer, I think is what they call it, as the kids say nowadays. And it's just unnecessary. I don't want to live here anymore, but we're too poor to move. So, <laughs> we're stuck. I, mean, I wouldn't say too poor to move. Like, yeah, we're paycheck to paycheck, but, like, we're doing all right, I suppose. But, like, uh, moving's expensive. You know, like, I we probably would be able to find another place to live. It's hard to do with dogs, for one thing. But, you know, the moving trucks and all that, it's, it's this big hassle and then the deposit. And, like, we're not in the position to move right now, which is unfortunate because I really don't want to live here anymore. I, I feel it. I feel this place burning down and it's terrifying me. And I mean, to be fair, the apartment building that the fire had started in was not even theirs. Like, leaf seed's not bad. But what do I get rid of? That's the tough part. <sighs> That's a tough one. I'll get rid of bulldoze for now. But, um, the, I guess, all right, the bottom floor across the hall from the old man that was taken uh, in the ambulance. He's lived here for like 25 years. It started in his building, well, his apartment. And that's also the first time it's happened since he's lived here. So yeah, I'll, go, I'll be the first to say unlikely. It's just fear, right? But I don't like it. <laughs> that's all there really is to say about it. I don't like these people. And um, 
We do, I don't live in the best of areas right now, I'd say. Not the worst, but, like, it's people that don't really care about other people, if you will. Like, I went outside, took sock and throw for a walk earlier, and there was this dog running around outside without a leash. What the hell? Like, somebody was standing at the apartment door, and it was running around using the bathroom and stuff. It's like, it was a medium-sized dog, bigger than sock and throw. I don't know what it would have been able to do to him. Right? It's like, you live in a little, like, in a community area like this with a whole bunch of different apartment complexes. You leashed your dog. Like, okay, this has turned to a rant at this point. I'm in a good mood. Like, I don't want you to be like, he's got a shitty attitude right now. What's his problem? No, I'm fine. Like, <laughs> um, I just, I thought it would be funny at first, but now I'm starting to think about it more. And I'm like, yeah, I do hate this place. Moral of the story is, I would like to move eventually here. I don't want my encounter here. Do I have repels? Because I really do not want to go get any. Okay. Yep. I feel good. All right. So Maramu's up front. We have Tierno. Is there an item right here? Really? All right. Let's fight Tierno's corefish. No big deal. He's not getting a fight scene <laughs> for his corefish. I mean, is he? Probably not. <laughs> Probably knowing me. Aw, oh, that's annoying. Yeah, what's up, Tierno? How you doing? He has a singular corefish. And we'll fight him one more time in the game. And it's possible he kills somebody. Because he's on Rival Bridge. And that place is absolutely terrifying. Can I one-shot corefish with mine with? Unlikely. They have good defense. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> this man's got swords to answer at this point? Are we serious? That's sad. That shouldn't be allowed in my game. I'm glad that I just did this the easy way instead of the hard way. I almost did it with Aganawa, but I was like, you don't have a grass type attack right now. Why would I bother? Well, there we go. All right, I want to get my encounter here. And this is the route of, this is the route I like to call disappointment. So there's a Pokemon on this route that I really would like to get. I've always wanted to use it, but yeah, he's giving me honey too. That makes me scared. <laughs> so... I've always wanted to use this Pokemon. I almost made it a mystery egg because you can only find it here. And it's, it's kind of rare. I've never gotten it. This guy's scary. You see. All right. Here's what we'll do. Actually, no, I feel pretty confident in this. Like, pretty genuinely really confident about this. Ah. Uh, I don't want to fight him just the second. I should. I know what he has. He's the scariest trainer on the route. He'd kill everybody in one shot. But well, could I outspeed him with Tiva? is the question. If not, yikes, Tiva's going to die. But I say we just get my encounter first and go from there. Anyways, coffee's been giving me lots of energy to record. And yeah, I absolutely love to see it because, like, I've got to do an awful lot. The channel's been growing really well, which I absolutely love to see. So I want to take advantage of that and make more challenge videos. So I'm trying to get um, the wedlock videos for this week out of the way so I can work on those. I got the next challenge video in the works. It's gonna be really awesome. And by next, I mean uh, the one after this Saturday. The Saturday that this is going up. I just wanna get my encounter. I wanna get it in the purple grass. That's where you can find this Pokemon the most likely. But I was worried because Trevor gave me honey because I, I mean, this is unfortunate. I find a Furfru, I might not be able to catch it. Who out of the U2 could, like, do something to Furfru? Nobody. All right, you, because you have Incinerate, I suppose. My encounter for Route... Furfru's not the Pokemon, by the way. My encounter for Route 5, if I see the Horde symbol, I will be so mad. Thank you. All right, my encounter for Route 5 could... Please don't be a Bumblebee. Wow! I actually got a Furfru. <laughs> They're more uncommon here. Oh, no. I'm not going to get to catch it. How much you do to Matt's thing? All right, you're just going to sand attack me. Oh, that sucks because I love Furfru, but, like, I might not be able to catch this thing. Um, I'm going to look up its catch rate because I feel like it's really bad. Apologize for hearing my keyboard. It's going to happen. And it's 160. That's not actually that bad. I'm just going to start throwing Pokeballs, because, like... Oh, yeah, we'll throw the Great Ball. I probably should have saved it. Come on, get in there. I really want to get this. I can't believe I got a Furfru. 
Well, I can't believe I found a Furfru. I'm not gonna catch it. What does it have at level 10? That's a better question. It does not have Headbutt yet. It does have Tackle. But I don't see Tackle killing me in one shot, even with a critical hit. <laughs> That's cute. You shouldn't talk. <laughs> um, Furfru is literally the coolest thing I could have found here. I wanted Skidoo, but I'll take a Furfru. Okay, that's fine with me. Shiny Furfru looks so sick in the other coats. I had no idea. I, this is not what I mean. All right, we got a Furfru. It's uncommon in the flowers. It's more common in the grass. I came to the flowers because I want Skidoo. We have Furfru, the poodle Pokemon. Trimming its fluffy fur not only makes it more elegant, but also increases the swiftness of its movements. Okay, I have no idea. I can't think of a tribe that has anything to do with a dog. Nope, I got nothing. I'll check my naming list, which is any survivor tribes, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I think I've got one that I'm cool with, especially if it's a male. I don't remember. Were you a male, Furfru? You are. Perfect. Okay, so this is from season four of South African Survivor, um, the Maldives, the Maldives, Maldives, whatever. And it is the Devi, the Devi word for famous. And I just think it's fitting for like a Furfru because you groom him and you know, I'm up for famous Furfru. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and name this Furfru. Goma. We have Goma, the Furfru. I like it. It's fine with me. All right, didn't get a skidoo, but we caught it at least. It could have gone much worse than that. I'm glad that it did not have headbutt. Would my next encounter have been a skidoo? Probably. And I'll be sad. Shiny skidoo? It's a gulpin. Okay, I'm happy. I like gulpin, don't get me wrong. But actually, gulpin doesn't count. Yeah, I forgot. I have galoo. Well, I had galoo on the original Y Wedlock, so. Gulpin would not have counted, I think. I'm pretty certain it's on that list. Yeah, Merlonio and Galoo most certainly should be. And here's a horde. Shiny Plusle! You man didn't call him that. What's up, Scrag? How you doing? <laughs> Scraggy would have been all right, but it's another one of those Pokemon. Oh, I got to sit through five Intimidate, do we? Only one of them has Intimidate? That's lucky. They could have had... Oh, I can incinerate Horde Train. That's cool. All right. We've stalled enough. Tiva, you feeling lucky? <laughs> you should be, because, like, there's no way Kadabra outspeeds Tiva, right? She's got 34 speed. Yeah, I'll test my luck. <laughs> Everybody's like, either, that sounds like a good idea, or, what are you doing? <laughs> um, hey, we got an Ornberry. I don't think it'll matter, to be honest with you. I don't see a realm where the Ornberry 10 HP makes a difference. Like, Psybeam, if it doesn't one-shot, will do, like, over 30 damage. But, I feel lucky. I really do. Here, take this. Finish it off with a false swipe. <laughs> we could. You can't learn. Are you kidding me? Tiva can't learn false swipe? What kind of world is it? Come on, Scraggy. I mean, I'm cool with a shiny Scraggy. And I thought that was a shiny fossil for some <laughs> I know they don't look like that. They're just a slightly darker red, but... Can I add anything? I'm not doing this. Now, if I was unable to run from that, I would have definitely reconsidered. But I feel like Loic here. I think that's this guy's name. Or was it... No, that's the guy with the real... What's your name again? Hamish. Hamish? He's slightly Hamish. At least he's not Porkish, am I right? That was literally the worst thing I've ever said on the channel. You know, there's a, a state where you just, you try your best, but in the end, like, it just doesn't work out. Oh, wait, they don't have inner focus. They have inner focus. What are you doing? Okay, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's panicked me for a second. At least we crit. Tiva's literally the god of crit. We crit again right here. We did! <laughs> oh my god, I just said that, like, guessing. She's done nothing but get critical hits. She's a monster. She's our little diva named Tiva, and... Uh, Anything less than a critical hit isn't worth it to her. That's literally her storyline is she's the perfect little cat. Anything less than a critical hit, not worth her time and effort. Also, that Orenberry, unfortunately, Tiva, I'm going to have to take that. Um, yeah, I, 
I really, really want to use Matt Singh and Vakama. But one water type. You know what? We, we'll be fine. I'm going to make risks because I'm not going to not use them. I can fight you. Actually, I'll fight you. I know you have a grass type. Well, I think. <laughs> There's a little boy down there with a pan sage. Tyson. b -Duke. That's fine. We can handle that. Um... <laughs> I've been playing the Pokemon trading card game recently, like I mentioned last episode. 12? Alright, does Return do more than Incinerate? Uh, you would think. Oh, thank God you didn't throw that. Wow, that's, that's an awful lot. Um, I really don't want Met Singh to die this early. That'd be unfortunate. I'm better than that. Yeah, I should have used Incinerate. Alright, even a crit has a little fine. They don't get quick attack. Uh, and there's a trainer in the trainer challenge named Tyson, and his slogan is no chicken or boxing jokes. I get enough of those from my brother. And I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But then I remember Tyson's any tizers, you know, the chicken, and then the boxer Tyson, right? I got that part, but I was like, chicken? <laughs> what the, the what? Like, oh, yeah, those are great. You know, you guys ever have those? Not sponsored, by the way. But, like, if anybody out there happens to be a representative for Tyson, don't hesitate. Even, hey, hey the boxer, too. Like, if you're, like, his butler, hey, I'll advertise whatever you want. <laughs> Call me. What's up? I want to move. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways. You. I feel good. We're going to fight her with Matt Singh and Vakama. Are you kidding me? All I have is a super potion? I didn't want to waste that. What if she has a Psyduck? Are we doing this again? Why is Psyduck my instant terror right now? Um, yeah, we'll lead Aganawa and Kalo Kalo. They haven't fought this episode. I feel good with this. I feel good with this. I feel like one of them has an Electrike for some reason, but like you can't get Electrike at this point in the game, which doesn't matter most of the time, but I'm feeling it. Winnie as a bundle. Well, hello. I'll base the other guy's roller skating Pokemon, the other roller skater's Pokemon, off of this girl's. So, only level 9. Why'd that guy have a level 12 Bidoof, then? How much is your return going to do, Aganawa? Quite a bit. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, you don't have Magical Leaf quite yet, but once you do, everything needs to look out, because my little Cherry is going to be quite... Love our house. I can't wait to use Cherim. I've literally dreamed about it my whole life. A Skidoo. Now, this would have been perfect. It's a Skiddo, actually. Why would I do that with Kalo Kalo? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> um, this is what I wanted. I really wanted to use Go Go. No, Skiddo's not in the eggs. I know. It could have been, but like. It should have been, yeah. Whoa, your growth. What are you doing? Like, there's no way. I mean, if it has, like, Stomp, it could. Theoretically speaking, it could kill them both. Yeah, we fast. Are we speed died? Or am I just an idiot? I think it's very possible both of those are correct. But, yeah, Winnie. I don't feel any safer. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Even if it's a water type, Vakama's got it. I think Vakama could beat a Psyduck. And I'm not healing Aganawa. There's no reason. Okay, I was worried he was going to be like, FIGHT MY WATER TYPES! And I'm like, no. Oh no, he's only got one Pokemon. It's a Doduo. That's fine. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Who's weak to flying? Aganawa. We're fine, though. And Kalo Kalo doesn't have a Rock-type attack yet. I don't know when he gets one. But, also, why can Kalo Kalo not learn Bulldoze? Like, what sense does that make? There you go. That's why it's better than Return. Yeah, we could have two-shot with Return, but we can flinch with Headbutt. Also, you have Quick Attack. That's good to know. I won't be making a mistake with that. Also, yeah, you're male. That's why I'm doing less. What's well, still a lot of damage for being a male? Rivalry sucks. Or is it more against the opposite gender? I don't remember. I need to actually drill that into my head because I'm going to make a mistake. Noble Roar. Does that, is that the one that lowers their stats and then I switch out? No. That's actually really good. Like, I'd say that... You know, it takes back what I said about lowering the foe's stats not a good idea. But that's pretty good. Oh, does that hit both? 
fur fru couple. We don't need bulldoze for that. If that hits both, I have to double check that. Like, that could be our fur fru couple strategy. Have Matt Sing incinerate. Or, I mean, maybe we get a better move than incinerate. Flame burst is 22. That's awful. Far. Please don't. Okay, good. I need speed. There we go. That's the speed I need. Um, there's a TM over here, too. I don't remember which one it is, but it's a good one, I think. What do we got? Anything? Hone Cloth. Well, that's pretty good. Who has a move that's likely to miss? Did somebody? Or am I still thinking of, like, a past series? Rollout. <laughs> Could you do that? Like, would one Hone Claws make Rollout never miss? Thing with Leech Seed, too. Ooh, and Hypnosis. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. I genuinely could. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna put Matt Singh up front and heal Vakuma because there's a kid with a Pan Sage. Watch him have Pan Pour. I just don't remember for some reason. Uh, I don't think Maramu can learn Home Claws, but we'll check. Obviously, you can. Um, and Matt Singh can too. Not a bad idea. Uh, it's better than Growl. Raise attack and accuracy. I think two Hone Claws would make Hypnosis guaranteed, right? I think. Maybe. That'd be really, really good. And the Hone Claws on you. We don't need Scratch anymore, so we might as well. well debatable if we need Lick either, but you never know when that'll be useful. All right. Home Claws is a game changer. There's probably a hidden item right there, but I'm not going to do that. That's a waste of my time. You probably have a side up. <laughs> You're the child with Pan Sage. Why does he wear shorts and tall grass? Is it because you like the feeling of pain? Yeah, he does have a Pan Sage. <laughs> it's like, it cuts my legs and I toughen up. My dad says pain is how you gain. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else's dad used to say that when you're a kid? Like, I was like, you're not getting anywhere unless you feel pain. It's like, that's not true. Why would you like, do anything you can to avoid pain, Kita? They're comfy and easy to wear, but that doesn't answer the question of why you wear them in, sh in grass. That makes no sense. I'm literally wearing a dress and you're telling me to wear shorts. It's like, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, um... One more trainer, that's it. Then we're done. Are you really gonna make me go through the grass? If I don't find a shiny because of you, Kida, I swear to God, Kida, I'm telling your parents. Unless this is a shiny. A skidoo. Can you imagine if I got a shiny skidoo right there? Oh, why couldn't I found you when I wanted you? This is a, a hurtful relationship. I didn't wanna have to do this. I didn't wanna have to burn you alive, but you forced my hand. He watched this kiddo get literally burnt to a crisp. I hope he's happy. I'm feeling brave. I literally said Psyduck. He probably doesn't have a Psyduck. It's like a pan pour. It is, isn't it? The center. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Also, they named the backpacker Hike. That's cute. <laughs> the names. It's almost like it's Pokemon XD or Coliseum or something. You guys know there's a trainer in those games named Korm? Who was thinking? When they did that, who, who was like, this is a name? It's not a name. Does Matt Singh give a thumbs up when he does return? Hold on, watch that. Does he give a thumbs up to me? He does! He's like, I got this! It's, <laughs> that's literally the best thing I've ever seen in my life. It's almost better than Tiva just like giving no cares in the world. That was brilliant. He's just like, don't worry about me. Sandra, I got this, and then smash. Really, Kida, you're doing this again? Why are you just standing there? Go home. <laughs> oh, boy, here's Gamfrier down. And a hollow clip on cue. It's almost like it was meant to happen. Thank you for using the hollow caster. I hate how this moves when I move my DS. You guys get to see how shaky I am. I can't help it. I'm scared. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. All right, we get to hatch two eggs now that we're here. But... That's not happening this episode. We're like 45 minutes into the video. But we can get this item. This is the guy that runs the PC. 
doesn't look like it, but you don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, maybe you do. <laughs> Just give me Thief. Yeah, that's nice. Um, Thief is fantastic because you can take the Citrus Berry from Snorlax or you can take the safer route and just take it from uh, an Audino. I think they hold those in this game. Does literally anybody, well, everybody learns Sur Oh, Thief? I guess what's we'll Surf? Well, he's a Dekalo Kalo, I guess, because everybody else has learned to move this episode. And I mean, the flinch is nice, but you're slow. So even with weak armor, I want you to have Thief instead. Useful. I wonder if there's any other items that you can steal at this point in the game. And this is a PC, by the way. <laughs> in case you didn't know that. Um, yeah, see, it's Cassius's PC. We got ourselves Vinaka and Goma. A Sir Are they both neutral natures? Sirius and Fur Furco. It's literally amazing. We got a fur food. We can give it a little haircut and all that good stuff. But somebody has to die, and our males are kind of too strong for that. I'll probably eat those words next episode, but... Yeah. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you're hyped for the next episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring the bell if you want to see more videos like this and be notified of them in the future. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and my team and I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching!